Okay, uh, Assalamualaikum my big to all of my group members and Madam Mazliana. So tonight uh, we are from group 34, let's 2019. We are having a group discussion 5. Before before we start, I will introduce myself first. My name is Nuruna Jabinti Abdullah. My matrix number is 201828 and I'm a second year student, Bachelor of Science, Environmental and Occupational Health. Hello everyone, my name is Nur Izzati Binti Amaruddin. My matrix number is 203879 and I am also second year student of Environmental and Occupational Health. Hi, Assalamualaikum. My name is Nur Aina Nabila Bendi Muhammad Faris. My matrix number is 196947. I am a third year biomedical science student from FPS2. Assalamualaikum and good evening everyone. My name is Nudan Adilah Binti Azhar. My matrix number is 195849. I am a third year biomedical student from FPSK. Hi, my name is Ahmad Arif Bimak Ramli and my matrix number is 200948 and I'm second year student of Environmental and Occupational Health. My name is Ahmad Arif Najmi Bin Nordin and my matrix number is 200745. I'm second year student, uh, Bachelor of Environmental and Occupational Health, SPSK. My name is Mohamed Ismail. Uh, I'm a third year student studying Biomedical Sciences in FPSK. Hi, my name is Nimisha. My metric number is 19824 and I'm a third year student from FPSK. Hi, I'm Nurin Adeline with Amar Rosli. My metric number 200255 and I'm a second year student, uh, second year dietetic student from FPSK as well. So I think everyone have introduced yourself. Uh, tonight, pair number five, eh, pair number four, which is me and Izati. We present about our DIY project, so I will share screen now. Uh, okay, is that you can start? Okay. Okay, everyone. Today we will share our DIY project, which is pop up gift box. Okay, as you can see, the material that we need to do uh, the pop up gift box is a uh, colored paper but uh, it depends on you if you don't have colored paper you can use the uh, white plain paper ruler glue scissors uh, color pen and marker to decorate uh, the pop-up gift box and also ribbon as the accessory okay for the step firstly you need to do the base of the box to do the base of uh, the base of the box, uh, we need um, um, a paper that have same measurement with height and length, and then you divide into nine small uh, box. After that, you cut the uh, left uh, uh, left side and another left uh, right side. Also, this you cut the same left and right side for the bottom and then you decorate we move to the second step which is you decorate the first base of the box you can paste on the colored paper for the each side around the box and then you redo again the first step which is um uh, at this time you make it in smaller size compared to the previous one Okay. After that, you also need to decorate the second uh, base uh, with the colored paper or anything that you think is suitable based on your creativity. And then you move to the fourth uh, step, which is at this step, um, uh, it is quite important step because this step you need to make the decoration for the box so that the box looks more interesting uh, which is you can use the stair shape or the window shape and also you can make the love shape of the kite and then you paste the decoration that you made in on the first level uh, no uh, sorry on the second level of the base and also 
you can um, make again the decoration and paste it on the first base level base on of the uh, pop-up gift box. And then you are finished with the pop-up gift box. And don't forget to do the cover lid of the box. That's all from us. And then uh, Najwa will show you the box that we had fin uh, made for all of you to see. Okay, actually, uh, me and Izati, me and Izati have made uh one box each person. So this is my box. Uh, my box is actually uh like uh can we can put a photos and also letter because we know this gift box is not only for someone uh we love like family friends or someone else, but it can be also for ourselves. As for me, I make this box is for myself. I I give the box name is selfless box. Uh, so this is the view of the box. I I will open it now. Okay, can you see? Okay. Uh, actually, uh, it has two layers. Which is this is the first layers. I put uh I put several origami. Which uh I can open it. You can open it like this, and put photos of yourself or someone else that you want and this is also the small box you can open it i just decorate it with some love and this also you can put something this can go ahead like like that and at the second layer i actually put some quote, quotation some quotation if i feel down so i can read this quotation it has a lot of quotation actually so uh, basically this is my this is my box. Uh, then Izati will present about her box next. Okay, guys, it's Najwa. It, uh, he, her, she named her box is Selfless Box, but me, I named it as Sweet Box. Okay, I will open for you. Yeah. Can you see? Okay, that is the first layer. This is a second box, which is more smaller. And then this is the last box. Okay, for the last box, I did not put the chocolate, the sweet, because I prefer to put um some uh, notes for example, if you want to give for your friends, you can roll the you can roll the paper and then you write something like thank you for loving me. Uh, like that, and then you roll it back. Okay, and put in and I put some decoration for my friend to find it. Difficult, more difficult. Okay, that's all. Uh, so basically, you can see that this gift box is, uh, it's like, uh, we can fill it with anything that we want. It depends on our creativity. Like me, I put some notes and I put some photos, and Izati, he put, uh, she put some chocolate. So uh, that is all from us. Uh, I just want to know what is your comments on my friends, and if you have any question, you can freely ask uh, us. Uh, okay, so first of all, the uh, slide theme was very cute. I liked it very much. And secondly, um, I think it was a very good idea to put origamis and sweets inside the box because um, and the first thing that I think about when I saw the box was to put just pictures and quotes, but not sweets and origami. So I think that was a very Good job and, and it was very creepy and I like how it turned out it was really nice especially since um, Mother's Day is tomorrow so it would be nice to give something personalized to our mothers yeah that's what I think uh, thank you for your comment uh, and I'm uh, I need to apologize 
because uh, earlier when I do the presentation, the slide, uh, the slide I cannot make it like a slideshow because if I make it like a slideshow, my laptop will hang. So, uh, do apologize me. <laughs> okay. Um, sorry guys, I was very late. No, I no, know no, I am no. very brief. Go die. Kill yourself right now. Commit. I am very sorry. So sorry. <laughs> Go it's... play some fireworks and kill yourself. Sorry. <laughs> Hopefully not. It's okay. It's okay. Maybe you can just introduce yourself with uh, video. Okay, yes. Um, okay. So my name is Ahmad Kero Ezzat bin Ahmad Kari. Uh, my metric number is 196.98 and I'm a third year biomedical science student at FPSK. Okay. Continue. <laughs> Sorry. Maybe we can show again Najwa our book. No, he he so does, doesn't deserve such kindness. Uh, it's okay, we just give a brief explanation to Isaac. Okay, is that basically our teams uh, make pop-up gift box tonight. Okay, maybe everyone can hear it for the second time. So this is my gift box. I make it, I put it some small origami in it. So you can put like uh, your photos and in my box actually I name it as a uh, self-love self box. And this is the first layer. You can open it, open each of the origami and the second layer, I put some quotations so that whenever I feel down, I can read it to myself so it make my self better. So this is my gift box and is a tea box. You can show the tea for the second time. Guys, yeah, this is special for you. My box is um, sweet spot because I will open it. Oh, you can see okay and then for the second box and last one the smallest box for the first and second box i put the chocolates but for the last box i only put the some note for for anyone that i want to give so you can write anything notes that you want to give for your friends your family member or anyone that's all from my box. So, anyone to share want to share your opinion or your ideal addition um, additional I'm, idea? I think that I, I might be imposed on of this because I'm just, I just came in here. But I want to say that um, yeah, it's really awesome, and I didn't think that uh, there like Najwa's idea, right, to um, put in uh, motivation notes because, yeah, I thought that it was like uh, mostly going to be gifts. So, yeah, uh, this kind of thing is really creative as well. That's all for me. Uh, I wanted to comment on, uh, I think it must be pretty hard to make the box, uh, make the boxes because I think like you need a very delicate hands to cut all those papers to make sure it looks nice because it's something like you can give as a gift. And then I, I wanted to ask like, uh, for this one, you guys mostly uh, use uh, papers, I think, A4 papers. Uh, do you guys think that we can maybe do like, uh, use recycled papers to do that or will it not look as pretty as yours? Okay, actually about the okay, uh, about the time, uh, I can say that I use around five to six hours to finish uh, this box, and uh, about the paper, maybe Zati can can answer it. Actually, uh, you can use the A four paper or uh, Manila card, but. Uh, for my box, I I use the um A4 paper, but then uh when I want to paste on, I want to glue the chocolate, uh the A4 paper uh cannot support my chocolate. So what I do is I cut the box. Uh, uh you know when we buy the um buy a mask buy a box of mice we. You, uh, we have the box, right? So I cut the box. Uh, 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 I cut the box with 
uh, the size that I want and then I paste it uh, at the back of the okay I will show you at the back of the paper and then I paste it with another black paper so actually uh, you uh, I hide uh, the box of my, uh, mice so it quite uh, sturdy so basically actually you can use any type of of any type of material that you want to use uh, uh, it just depends on how stable it is how sturdy it is and what you want to fill the box with and if you just want to fill some quotation like me maybe you can use the recycled paper but for uh, if you want to fill like chocolate maybe you cannot use it that's my for your question So in my opinion, I think that the idea of making the pop gift is cool. I like it. So because you can make that to give it to someone as a present, whether your friend or your family. So nowadays, when it comes to someone's birthday, we we tend to give someone present, like maybe we buy it on the mall or online. But then it's rare for someone to give present that is made by ourselves. So I think that why not we give our friends or family a gift that is handmade once a while so i think it's a great idea and for the izati box uh, when i see the small boxes i don't know why but it comes to my mind that it's kind of cool if uh, you can use that for a proposal you know put a ring inside the small box <laughs> okay that's all from me thank you maybe you can use it for your proposal <laughs> yeah <laughs> Uh, hi guys, uh, I think your the idea of making a pop 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 gift box is really amazing. I see like you guys put a lot of effort on making, you know, two different boxes like like uh, now Joe's box is really amazing with origami. It's really creative, and I like the idea of uh, Izati making some cute rules for their friends. Uh, you know, like it's quite really nice but i just want to know like do you guys have any ideas like while you're making this pop-up gift do you guys have think like other than uh other than using it as a gift box do you guys like have any idea like what could you have done for that box do you get it what i'm trying to say like other than making as a gift box do you guys have any idea like maybe you can turn this box into something else other than as a gift do you guys have any other thought like that I think we shall we, we can use this box to make uh, our uh, notes during the study week. Maybe if we, we have uh, stress and we want to try something new, we can do the box. Uh, like Najwa, she wrote, she write the quotation, but we change into uh, the quotation into the uh, the the chapter that we learn for our subject, maybe. Maybe when we open the origami, we feel more excited to learn. Maybe you can use it for it. Yeah, that's nice actually. But I heard that you guys take six hours to make that box. So, <laughs> so maybe you guys have to try something a little easier. <laughs> Maybe you could maybe you could use that idea as well, but instead of like pasting the the notes with glue, you could use sticky notes so that you could just take it off yeah. and change it to other notes. Actually, I've been thinking oh, to guys. use sticky note. Okay, actually, I've been thinking to use sticky note, but uh, I don't have it with me right now, and also the sticky note it has uh, not the color that I want. To matching with my board, so I uh, lastly I just use the A4 notes. But anyway, it is good ideas. Thank you. For me, I think uh, I also have the same thought as Nurin just now. I think that from your presentation, uh, it seems like the way to make the box is kind of difficult. It was confusing to me a bit. And so, uh, because that you guys have done, I have made, made it. So, do you guys think that a non-crafty person such as myself can 
also make this box. Uh, for me, I think yes, because I'm also not that crafty person. But because uh, when you want to make this box, it's actually just need some accurate measurement and also some passion to make it happen. Uh, like me, I don't even know how to draw. I just draw a sticky man. But uh, I managed to make it with some tutorials uh, on the internet. So I think you can do it. Okay, uh, I will give my opinion. I think it is a good uh, DIY project presentation and the design of the pop-up gift box also pretty and it can attract a lot of people if you decide to sell this, uh, this gift box. Because I think uh, nowadays a lot of people make business by selling uh, uh, this kind of thing like surprise gift box, pop-up gift box, but it depends on the creativity. If you are creative, a lot of people will buy uh, this kind of thing. Uh, I just wonder for Izati, based uh, based on your uh, based of based on the cost and the effort you give uh, to make this project. Uh, in your opinion, what is the estimate price of your product if you decide to sell this uh, this? Actually, after I done with my project, I think right now I understand why they say let's sell the yeah, surprising what surprise what with uh expensive price because firstly when i want to buy the chocolate actually i uh, i want to buy with the loose uh, uh the loose chocolate that uh uh which is i uh, don't want to buy in the uh packet that have more more chocolate you get what i mean uh, yeah, yeah, yes, right. Uh, but then the shop uh, do not have the loose one, so I need to buy the packet that more uh, spice, uh, more price, uh, more expensive from the loose one. So I think if I want to sell this this uh, box, uh, maybe uh, it's I want to sell at 15 maybe, but it depends on on what chocolate uh, that the customer requests. If she, uh, she or he want the expensive chocolate, then I need to uh, increase the price. But if uh, I want to, uh, if I really, really want to sell this box, I need to do calculation first. But that is my estimate on uh, price on the around 50 ringgit. I think I'm the last person to comment on this because I did use up my two minutes uh, mocking Isaac and threatening him. But uh, I don't really have anything much to comment uh, except for, uh, no offense to Najwa, but Izati's uh, box was kind of my self-love box because I really like chocolates. So basically, like, that's it. That, that, that right there is just what got me screaming and cheering just now because I love chocolates. Uh, and I don't have anything more to add on. You can just put in any chocolate there and I love it. Um, and the idea of you can just put anything inside, uh, anything that you want that helps cheer you up or cheer anyone else up is kind of, uh, it's actually a really nice thought, especially in times like this where everything is uncertain and, you know, threatening. So, yeah. Uh, I mean, about being recyclable or not recyclable, I think that you can look past it first because I think in the end, it's the thought that counts. The gesture, uh, going to six arduous hours of task just for one box of treats, gifts, and uh, cheers is, is kind of nice. It's kind of helpful and thoughtful. So yeah, thumbs up. Two thumbs up. Good job. Thank you, Mune. Uh, it's okay, Mune. Actually, actually, I remember that once you have said in our group discussion when you said that you really, really love chocolate and I also can see the difference between your reaction at my box and Izati box. But it's okay. It depends on everyone's preference, right? It's okay. It's okay. And 
I think everyone has done with their comments and also question. I just want to add something. Uh, actually, my my intention to make this gift box is I want to show uh, how many effort that I put in one box uh, just to give it to maybe to give it to someone instead of expensive uh, things. But I put a lot of efforts in these cheap things, but yet it's memorable. So. This is my early intention to make these boards and I really enjoy making these boards even though it takes like six hours. So I think we're going to meet again in group discussion seats for next week and happy uh, Selamat Hari Raya, happy Idul Fitri for everyone and happy Midsum. So bye-bye. Thank you for this night. Bye. Selamat Raya. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.